Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy, your main man, your main black man, Tavius, back with another video, a different video today. Recently on the channel, we hit four years on YouTube. And if you guys didn't know, realize today it's it's actually daytime right now, which is unusual. It's never really daytime whenever I'm recording. I'm not doing any gaming. I'm just gonna be um, on here talking to you guys, eye to eye, heart to heart, me and you. So I basically just got on here because I just wanted to talk about everything that I've done on this channel and where I've taken this channel in the four years that I've actually been on here. I started my YouTube channel back in 2015. I don't know if there's anyone still around from that time. I I started off my channel, you know, typical starter channel. I started off playing Call of Duty, mainly. I don't have a big fancy video for you guys for four years. Unfortunately, I would have loved to do a reaction video to a lot of my older videos, but at this current point in time, the computer that I'm currently using to record right now, it only lets me do so much to the point where I really can't, I can't record my face cam and the, the computer screen at the same time because my computer is just trash like that. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, just a lot of stuff that's going on. Not Nothing really like personal, but just my how i've been on youtube because at this uh at this current point in time of recording this video i am at 429 subscribers and that is after four years of doing youtube depending on how you look at it that could either be good to some people or that's horrible within a four-year time span because when i first started youtube i i was gaining subscribers at a pretty substantial rate not crazy but decent for a starter youtuber i think i gained 100 subscribers like a year ish and i think there was a point in time where i did xenoverse 2 content and i was streaming like almost every day i think i put out like 20 streams in a month on you here on youtube and it was xenoverse 2 and i gained 100 subscribers in that month <laughs> of doing youtube because like once i switched over from call of duty to xenoverse 2 i think i went from either 100 something to 200 and something something like that it, within like a month's time span which which was actually crazy now that i think about it i don't really like to compare myself to other people but when you really think about it there's people who will do youtube for a year and they have thousands of subscribers i'm kind of conflicted because like it's a mixture of like uh i i want youtube to be my job because this is literally the only thing that i really want to do in my life is youtube i would be down for streaming too and i haven't streamed in a minute on this computer so i don't even know if it can handle it anymore to be honest we don't really live in a world today where you can just upload be consistent and blow up that's not really how it how it goes anymore so it's kind of like i'm really enjoying what i'm doing at this current point in time like with the fighting game content with like the all the different variety of games that i have but i've, I've seen people say that they like variety on the channel but then some people say they only want to see like one maybe two games at max because at this current point in time i i'm I upload Dragon Ball, I upload MK11, I've uploaded some Samurai Showdown before, some Fighting X Layer, some Street Fighter V. People people really say to, to be yourself, be consistent, have patience and it'll happen. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like, it's not, they're not, it's not wrong, but there's, there's definitely something else to it. So I'm kind of like, I, I'm like at, at like, at the like edge, I'm like where I don't really know what to do, like where I, what I'm doing wrong, because... It, it there's a there's a lot that goes into like doing youtube people would think that being a youtuber is easy but it's really not i'm not complaining but i'm just saying it's a lot harder work than what you would think in terms of you know recording your videos is probably the most fun part for me i love recording so you got your recording you got your editing process and you have your rendering depending on your computer it could take forever or it could be quick my computer decides when it wants to be fast or not then you have like your thumbnails your uploading your then you the advertising part is probably one of the hardest parts of doing youtube because it, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of time and a lot of consistency to constantly sit there and advertise yourself because you can't really be found from just posting these days i I'm pretty sure back then 2012 to 2015 was probably the best time to be on youtube and that's when i started i didn't start youtube until like right after i graduated high school like a few months afterwards i was 18 when i first started my youtube channel i'm 22 now i just turned 22 at the beginning of this month august 2nd <laughs> uh one of the power rangers videos i talk about my birthday because it was recorded like a day or two after but i had to push it back for other videos that took priority but there's been times where i feel like super discouraged when it comes to youtube and like you know views subs like likes 
freaking just stuff in general there's been times where i've been inactive for months like when i did when i did call of duty i think i was inactive for three months and then recently probably a few months ago i think i was inactive for like five i just wasn't uploading and a lot of the a lot of it has to do with um being discouraged from you know results obviously i don't expect results to happen overnight I, like i said i've been doing this consistently for four years now because it's something that i really want to do and i enjoy doing it like making thumbnails is also fun too that's that's also fun it's kind of discouraging whenever you uh whenever you don't get the results you kind of like would hope for especially since i'm not going to school right now i mean and at this current point in time i'm not working either i had like a temporary position that was like a nine month position and i don't know it's, it's just stressful it's just life really you know being pressured to to go to school do all this extra stuff when i which i appreciate the pressure because that means that people care and stuff like that but it's kind of like i don't know man i feel honestly i feel school's not for me but i just this is what i really want to do and i just would hope to make it a job and not seeing the results that you would want is kind of it's kind of sucky i would have hoped to at least be at a thousand subs by now but i mean it's kind of like i can't really rush it it just has to naturally happen because it seems like but it seems like nowadays and if you're not like doing something crazy or being featured on someone else's channel that's way bigger than you you don't really get recognized because youtube tends to push people who have good views good like high sub counts a lot of likes and stuff that they really recommend you their channels like other than that you don't like you're never seen they cater towards bigger people a lot and it kind of sucks for people who are starting out or people who are smaller who have been doing this like consistently for years but get just make it nowhere it's like some people they make it it takes forever for them to make it they make it quick or some people just don't make it at all so it's kind of it's kind of sucky like i would i would hope that i'd be on that uh makes it list whether it be within another year or two or it just happens like like next month or the start of next year or something i've had a lot of goals like i made a video in 20 at the end of 2017 or the beginning of 2018 it was a video about my goals i'll actually link it in the top right if you guys want to go see that i talked about a lot of stuff in that video i haven't seen it in a minute but I know that I said I wanted to have at least a thousand subs this year. I mean, this year is like almost over. We got like four more months. Yeah, four more months. So I mean, something could happen within those four uh, that four month time span. I don't know, man. It's like um, I don't know if there's something that I'm doing wrong. Maybe maybe I'm not consistent enough. I mean, I've been recently uh, way more than I've been in a long time. I probably this is probably the most consistent I've been since I started YouTube back in 2015 or like 2016 like I back when I was uploading literally every other day I mean I don't upload every other day now it's kind of like varies between every day and every few days or so but they're putting a lot more work into the videos recently you know we got face cam back finally after stopping doing that <laughs> when I but I used to use green screen honestly I'm gonna tell you how I feel about myself and what when it comes to YouTube I feel like I have the energy disagree or not at least more recently uh, more or less when I'm by myself I'm probably the most energetic when I'm alone and I can record like right now but uh, I have feel like I have the energy I think my thumbnails are pretty decent the way that I do them I don't really see people do them that way in terms of like the uh, the blurred background that I add to my thumbnails that's it's a little different the, the editing is pretty solid whether you guys want to see edits and cutscenes and sound effects and all that in fighting game content I don't know that's just my editing style and it, and it always has been and it probably always will be to be honest that's just my style and that's how I like to do things my talking is pretty good I feel I mean I had four years of practice talking to a camera <laughs> um, and being by myself talking to no one or just screaming at the person I'm playing at whether it be laughing being salty or freaking complaining like I constantly do <laughs> which I feel like I need to do less because it kind of gets annoying when I'm at trying to edit a video and I'm sitting there complaining every five seconds it's like I don't really know what to do or what I'm doing wrong or what I can be doing to skyrocket myself because there are people who have done this stuff way shorter every time than I am than I have and then they'll just blow up quick as freak and they'll do similar content to what I do I'm not saying that I'm doing the same like content just as good so I should be up there but I don't mean this to be like a depressing type of video or something sad it's just my thoughts and how I felt recently or just lately where I've been discouraged then I want to jump back in then I'll like do it a little bit and then 
jump right back in. And I kind of felt a discouraging feeling recently. Like I usually average, which kind of sucks now, like 20 to 30 views, maybe 40. Back in the day when I was doing Call of Duty, I would average like 40 to 60. And I like, I'd have videos that have 100 plus views all the time. When I switched to this, kind of changed like a lot but then again i was switching uh games changing up the community that i was actually focusing my videos towards and yeah that's just that's just how it goes whenever you try something new on the channel or you completely switch up your content but at this current point in time i plan to really only do fighting games with other games on the side i've tried story mode games but those just fall through for fighting game videos i can actually have background noise it doesn't really matter but for uh story mode based games i prefer it to be silent because i don't want a bunch of background noise in while the freaking story is trying to play out completely kill the immersion but at this current point in time i'm really uploading just whatever every game and it's like I like being variety but at the same time when you think about variety you're like oh what do I upload next I have so much stuff to upload that I that I could be playing it's like what do I upload instead of I'm strictly Dragon Ball or strictly MK11 or I do M Dragon Ball and MK11 or I'm strictly NRS like strictly Capcom but I enjoy the variety because I enjoy a lot of different types of games. It's mainly because of uh, Maximilian. Maximilian dude here on YouTube. He's probably my favorite YouTuber, to be honest. And that man is freaking massive, but he's been doing YouTube for a long time. Probably making videos for about like six, eight years or so. I enjoy a lot of fighting games. I'm not just only playing Dragon Ball or only playing MK or only playing Street Fighter. I like to play everything, to be honest. Like, I'll play games that, that are just no one even knows about, like EX Layer or Power Rangers. People know about Power Rangers, but I don't know if a lot of people know about the fighting game. If anyone's really watching this and they have, like, input, I'd appreciate it. Like, feedback on this video to know what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing on this channel. So it's like, I don't really mean this video to be so long, but it's kind of like I have a lot to say. I may be repeating myself, but I don't know. It's just how I feel. I need to, I need to figure something out so it's not a complete waste of time and I just don't get anywhere with this YouTube thing. It'll be like, I've already been doing this for four years. It'll like say it's another four years down the line and we've moved nowhere. I'm not getting any younger boys. <laughs> and and the, the stresses of being in school and working i mean working i don't have a problem with it's just you know it's, I, it's been two months since i've had a job but i've been getting i've been getting paid at unemployment at this current point in time those stresses are just getting more and more severe as like as i get older and as time goes on i know another way that you can blow up is reaching out to other people but not a lot of people are around my sub count that do the same content that i do if they do it's not really with commentary or like they don't know how to record other people's voices other than their own and it's like all the qual high quality people are like the bigger people honestly i feel like my content is kind of like up there because you have your beginner level like say this is your beginner level and then you go up and you have like your semi you know what you're doing you're like then your intermediate level then you have your above and intermediate then you have your like maximilian style uh content i feel like my content is more of like the intermediate to the like higher intermediate level in, in terms of quality my settings might not be the best i may not look the best but i mean i don't really it's it's not a big deal how i look in videos it's just as i just i just love making videos man a boy does need a haircut though <laughs> we got the pubic hairs on the chin right now and we need to get rid of that see it's like i don't want to say i feel like i deserve it because it sounds it sounds horrible when i say that i feel that that maybe the work that i put in would would uh would reflect where i would be if that makes sense i don't freaking know man i don't know it sucks it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to say anything to where you should be or where i where i you know where i currently am it's like apparently maybe even maybe where i am is what i'm putting out so it's like i mean i need to figure something out if you guys have any suggestions let me know down in the comments because i'd appreciate that a lot maybe i'll figure something out as to what i'll do i was thinking of doing dragon ball mk like upload dragon ball not upload the next day upload the day after that then mk then repeat that process and maybe i was thinking i would upload a, a, a different game in between those but then i don't kind of don't want to force myself to play mk if i don't want to play it mk11 specifically so let me know if you guys would be down to see that i probably just probably start up doing every other day uploads like something more consistent where people know when i'm gonna post instead of oh is he gonna post daily or are we gonna have to wait a few days for him to put something out and then that would also help me give me the option to give me more time to edit and more time to stack up videos to keep them 
like set to upload and stuff like that i probably have to record less so i don't oversaturate my uh freaking computer with a bunch of uploads and a bunch of files like i have right now if i were to have goals for 2020 i guess since the year is technically almost over i would say probably to be try to just overall try to do better with every aspect of what it takes to make it in youtube which i really don't know yet there's still a ton of stuff i don't know what, on top of the stuff that i do know it is what it is and hopefully uh we'll end up making it somewhere because it would feel great to have a fan base and have people who watch me say all the nice things and stuff like that i've had people along my journey of doing youtube tell me that i deserve to have more subs than what i do like my videos are really good and i don't disagree <laughs> but i'll be completely honest i'm gonna just i'm gonna just you know but it is what it is. You can't control where you are. You can't control how things go. And you, I, I guess you just got to let it naturally flow. So hopefully we'll get there someday. Whether it be a f uh, like a few months from now. Be a few weeks from now. A few months from now. Maybe a year from now. Two years from now. Hopefully not that long. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm not getting any younger, boys. I'm 22 right now. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to end the video before I say any more. It's been a little video. Not really little. Been recording for almost 30 minutes. Don't know what I'll trim this down to. If you're new to the channel, this isn't what I usually do. But I just wanted to do this for the one time. <laughs> for the one time real quick. You know, stick around. See what we're posting. Maybe you enjoy what we're doing. Um, tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your dog. Tell your cat. Tell your grandma <laughs> about your boy. And um, click the bell if you haven't. So you get notifications on what I'm posting next. The more fighting game content on the channel. Hope you enjoy it. Let's try to get 10 likes on the video. Likes are always appreciated. Also, as well as your comments on what you thought of the video, if you have any suggestions on what I could do. I've had ideas for series as well. I wanted to do something involving the subs, but we'll see. We'll see. It's been Tavis. Remember to always smile and have a great day. I love you guys and uh, yeah, guys. Peace. Whew, what a video. Didn't expect to talk for so long. Peace.